it, this is less than satisfactory. I would describe it as less than human accommodation. Manager of the Guinea National Senior Men's Volleyball Team describing the substandard living conditions encountered as they participate in the Eastern Caribbean Volleyball Association Men's Championship in Antigua. They're saying that this is, this is less than satisfactory for the team to be, to be staying in. Guys cannot take a proper shower, guys cannot get rested. Up to now, they said that breakfast was supposed to be delivered, guys haven't eaten. And we have a game to play soon. And it's now almost 10 o'clock. Look at the condition of the rooms, there's no proper running water, the smell of mold, the, smell of the painting and all of that. They Having spent one night at Anchorage Inn, various teams including Grenada were transferred to another housing facility which was seemingly still under repairs. Volleyball coach Rafael Braffitt explained the situation in an interview with Real News Antigua on Thursday morning. came in here after one this morning and some of the guys didn't even show up anything. No water. No water. The room is in a terrible condition. You know, when some place locked down for a long time and have this mold. Oh my. And, and then they painted, when we reached here, they, they were painting. So you could imagine somebody going inside a room to sleep, right? The smell we of spoke paint. To them about it, and there was no. Um, um, they said, came. They said they're not going there. They're, they're not staying here. Yes. To, to tell you more, um, St. Vincent came here after two this morning, right? When St. After the game, when they see the condition, they say no way they're staying here and, and they're going back home. They find a place for them, right? Why Grenada can get some way? And eh, up to now, they, they, we have game 1 o'clock and the players are even eating nothing as yet. Not That's well smart. rested. You know, and, they, and they don't get nothing as rest. Tyrone Hosford, captain of the Grenada volleyball team, noted that the situation has greatly affected the players. I'm more concerned of, of players' performance because we, we didn't rest properly last night. We took the we took the, the the mattress from inside the rooms and we slept in the hallway because the rooms we, we can't just can't sleep in the room. Assistant coach Solomon Jeremiah kid in on what he believes is a critical factor to the situation. One of the main problems they, they, they're trying to say they're not emphasizing on money. We came up with extra persons. We know that we are aware of that. We came up with extra persons, and that is one of the points that being carrying out. Oh, we still owe them. Yes, we we, we owe them, but. The money will be paid to them, but there, are, there are extra. We pay. We have to pay for seven, for six extra persons. Money is paid for twelve. Where is the accommodation for the twelve? GBM reached out to Ralph Lord of the Green Olympic Committee, who confirmed the situation, while citing that the president of the Eastern Caribbean Volleyball Association was informed of the issues. Lord said that immediate actions and alternatives will be provided to the national volleyball team. The government of Antigua and Barbuda also released a statement via the Minister of Sports, Daryl Matthew, who noted that he is aware of the plight of the visiting volleyball teams. According to the release, the sports minister has now intervened and instructed the organizers to make alternative living arrangements for the teams as a matter of urgency. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN Sports.